We're out here at the south end of the Lost River Range in central Idaho. Uh, actually at a climbing area called the Fins. Uh, really cool geology happening here, so I thought I'd spend a few minutes sharing uh, some of the story we have here. Behind me here you can see some of these big fins of rock. This is limestone. These rocks actually formed about 350 million years ago during the Mississippian period when most of Idaho, in fact most of the western United States, was a shallow marine setting. So this was all seafloor, underwater seafloor area, and all this rock here is actually the um, the remains of little microorganisms and fossils and um, all sorts of marine life that sort of died. All their remains sank to the bottom of the sea and then was cemented into rock. So this is a type of rock called limestone made out of some material called calcite. Uh, so these beds were, were deposited at the bottom of the ocean horizontally, but you can see here they're actually sticking up, it, it's hence the name the fins, they're sticking up at these nearly vertical orientations. So the next thing that happened about 100 million years ago, uh, two plates colliding along the west coast of North America compressed the rocks in Idaho and caused them to bend and fold. And so these slabs of rock were actually bent and folded into these steep orientations you see behind me here. This was a period known as the severe orogeny, a big mountain building event that occurred in Idaho and the western United States during the Cretaceous period about 100 million years ago. Uh, and then the next thing that happens in this area is this whole mountain range gets uplifted uh, during the last 17 million years or so uh, during a period called basin and range extension. So then we have instead of compressional forces, uh, forces stretching the Earth's crest east to west, breaking the mountain ranges up into, or breaking the rocks up into mountains and valleys across this part of uh, east central Idaho. And then behind me here we can see the, the vast Snake River Plain. Some of those big buttes sticking up there are volcanoes. The tallest, steepest ones are rhyolite domes, basically extrusions of thick pasty lava that kind of oozed out of the ground uh, during the last maybe 600,000 years or so. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, one last thing we want to kind of check out here, if I can get my great videographer to come over, is we've got these really cool fossils here. So we, this is actually a horn coral. You can see some of the little lines here at the bottom. This fossil's actually been replaced by uh, a material called chert. So it's actually been replaced by material that's made out of silica, so it's like quartz. It's much harder than the limestone. And you can see a lot of these fossils here that were deposited at the bottom of the ocean.